Hey, what's going on, y'all? Jay from JS Films. In this video, we're going to be reacting to Evo 3D AI. Let's check this out. <laughs> Alright, so Evo 3D reached out to me and showed me like a video a month ago. And, and, and I told him right away, I was like, yo, you're going to have to make a new video. Because the original screenshots they sent me, I was like, nobody's going to believe this. That this is just text to 3D and image to 3D. I was like, there has to be some kind of video that shows the interface as well. Because when I saw it, I was like, I called BS on it right away because I couldn't believe it. I've covered a couple of these AI text to 3D, image to 3D before. To me, this version, this tool here is kind of like, I would say 2.0 because you can see there's so much detail, a lot more detail in here. And as far as I know, I was told that this is actual 4K textures that it's outputting, not like upscaled like we've had before. This is pretty insane technology. You can see it being used in this video here in multiple ways. I see it being used with AI softwares, but also being used in like Unreal Engine in like animation pipeline. Let's take a look at some of these examples and what really kind of blew my mind. Just this robot hand right here. I'm not a modeler. I'm not a texture artist. I just like making things. So when I need something quick, you know, I usually go to like freelancing websites, but that usually takes a lot of time and obviously money. And 90% of the time, you're not really going to get what you want. I've had so much freelance models that I end up just tossing and not using because first of all, I think some of them are using AI already. And some of them just didn't look good enough. So for us to be able to use this tool and just play around with it, just to see what we can get, say, like a prop, like this robot hand right here, which is pretty insane. This is crazy, man. This is, like, absolutely mind-blowing. Just the detail in, in this here is, is insane. And like I said before, these AI stuff, this is the worst it's going to look. This is actually pretty darn impressive here. And to be honest, on the right side, I'm not sure if that's like rendered, but that could have been a path trace render from the looks of it. I could have done that in like Unreal Engine 5, like imported this to like Unreal Engine 5. And what I like about it is that if you've noticed in all of these generations that they've showed us is that it's not texturing perfectly i have made myself clear when it comes to models that majority of the models we're getting in the freaking fab or some marketplace they're too clean 
you know? So it's like for me, instead of emailing all these creators, like, hey, do you have a dirty version of this model? Do you have a grungier version of this 3D model? I can play around with that and iterate it online here, which is insane. Yeah, the, the amount of detail here is, that's crazy. Because it to me, it looks like it's photo scanned. It's pretty darn crazy. It's so hard to believe. And th this outfit here looks pretty cool. Now, I did ask him a couple of questions because I've done you know a lot of these videos before. So check in the comments below. I asked some pretty good questions. I want you to read their answers because I think they're really good information if you're interested in this kind of technology here. That's pretty cool right there. Look at this detail, dude. If this was like a picture converted to 3D, that is mind-blowing. And they're really like, and it's crazy because they're not afraid to like zoom in. Like if you look at this example right here, they're like, let me let me show you the detail of this. This kind of reminds me of like the same quality as like Black Myth Wukong. Those little models that they had in the game. Dude, to me, this is that quality. Just look at these freaking poor details on this. Obviously, this thing is still beta. Right? It's not even like in the final form. And that's why they mainly want me to make this video so they can get more users and get more feedback. So if you're interested, obviously go to the website and check it out. This this alien right here is what they sent me originally. And I was like, yo, there's no way this is text to 3D or image to 3D. Just the amount of detail of this right here. And what's crazy is you're thinking if you were to put this in a cinematic short, you're not really going to put it in broad daylight. So I bet this would even look in like a moodier and darker type of, you know, lighting. That would be look so amazing. Now, in this example, if I had to guess, they probably used like a 3D to like AI video, which is getting popular nowadays too. That's insane. That's really darn impressive. So real quick, let me go over the pricing. Now, this could change in the future, potentially, right? It couldn't change. But right now, you can sign up for free, get 100 credits per month. And I asked about commercial license. They said yes. For now, you can use it commercially. They will add it down here because I suggested it. I was like, yo, you should put that down here. That's probably a good idea. For $40 a month, you get 1,000 credits, advanced, premium. And then for at a price right behind me, it says contact us for pricing. Now, with that said, if you want me to demo this, on my YouTube channel, kind of just kind of play around with it like I usually do, maybe export it and render a little bit of something in Unreal Engine 5. Let me know in the comments below, man. I usually tell these companies like, hey, let's do a React video first just to see if we're going to get some interest in it because honestly, I don't want them to waste our money and time. That said, till then, I'll see y'all in the next one. Peace out.